this video we're going to look at an equal problem called basic calculator so given a string s representing a valid expression uh, implement a basic calculator to evaluate uh, evaluate it um, and return the result of evaluation you are not allowed to return any or use any built-in functions that evaluates the string as a mathematical expression such as eval um, so you can see here we have an example of one plus one right it's basically inside a string and uh, you can see here we could have space here there could be no space in between a symbol right an operator um, so and at the end we want to return an integer value which is basically the result right the the result of the evaluation right so you can see here we're returning an integer two um, so and you can also see here we have another example right where we have like spaces and then we have two minus one right which is one one plus two is three so therefore at the end we're returning three right and there could also be um, like brackets um, in our string as well so if we have a bracket what we have to do is we have to do what's inside our bracket first right so let's say we have an example like this then first um, what's going to happen is that we're going to get the sum inside the inner bracket in this case four plus five plus two which is going to be 11 right and then what's going to happen then is we're going to get uh, this the results right of this bracket so in this case what's going to happen is we're just going to get 1 plus 11 right which is the sum of this of this right here and then which is uh, 12 and then 12 minus 3 which is basically 9 right so once we have that we're going to complete what's inside the bracket so in this case 6 plus 8 which is 14 right and then 14 plus 9 in this case is basically uh, 23 right so therefore at the end we return 23 so and then there could also be like I said there could be negative value as well so in this case it's basically 45 minus 40 oh, sorry 48 minus 48 in this case is 0 right so number can have multiple digits that starts with plus right a positive value or a negative value constraints is that you can see here for each for the string right the length of the string will be at least one character and the string will contains these symbols uh, we could have empty we can have empty spaces right we can also have digits right valid expressions all the strings are valid expressions and uh, every number and run a running calculator will fit in the 32-bit integer so in this case how can we be able to solve this problem so to solve this problem we know that we have to complete what we're in this case get the result of evaluation for the inner brackets right before we can be able to complete the outer brackets or what's in the outer brackets. So in this case, you can see here, we first complete the inner bracket, which is 11. And then what we're gonna do is then is we're gonna complete the outer bracket, in this case, the current bracket, right? And then, which is nine. And then once we complete the current bracket, we also have to complete the outer brackets, right? We have to complete the what's inside the bracket first, right? And then in this case, six plus eight, which is gonna be 14. And then once we get the sum of this, which is basically 23, right? So in this case, what we have to do is we actually have to do something like a stack or using it like a stack data structure or DFS, right? Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to complete what's in the brackets first, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to iterate the string character by character. Once we visit a bracket, we know that we have to complete what's inside first before we continue. So what we can do is that we can do a DFS. And this DFS function basically trying to complete um, or get the result, return an integer value of the um, of the sum, right, of the result of the total value for what's inside the brackets. So once we uh, complete what's inside our brackets, we're gonna um, backtrack to to the um, to the outer brackets, right, to what's outside of the brackets, and then we can because now we get the sum for or in this case the total value for what's inside a bracket, we can be able to use that value to con continue to. Um, get the get the total value for what's <clears throat> what's outside of the, the bracket right um, now we know how we can be able to like solve this how can we be able to like get the sum right let's say we have four plus five plus two how do we get the sum so in this case to get the sum um, what we have to do is we have to first of all iterate through the list right so, or in this case a string and then if in this case we're going to have a variable right so in this case we're going to have our sum initially equal to zero once we visit a curtain the first character in this case the first character is a digit right well there could also be another situation where we could have 45 we could have a 4500 right there could be a long list of numbers so what we have to do is we have to iterate through 
right? While the current digit, while current character is a digit, we're gonna basically append it to a string. And then while the current is not a digit, we're gonna basically um, convert the current string into an integer now number, right? So what's gonna happen is that once we convert this to an integer number, which is four, we add it onto the sum, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next character. In this case, it's an operator. So what we have to do is that we have to we have to use a another variable like a, maybe like an operator right um, to keep track of the current operator because once we visit the nest element what we can do is that we can use the nest we can use the current operator to change that right so in this case right now it's a plus so we can have a plus one if it's a minus that symbol we can have a minus one right or a negative one value so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move on to the next character so we have a five okay so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get sum right so sum is equal to sum plus the current num right which is five times the operator in this case it's basically four plus five right which is basically nine so in this case we just have nine here right um, now let's say we have a negative one here or negative two here or minus two here so once we get here we have a negative two, right? So, sorry, we have a negative one. So we make the operator negative value so that once we get to the actual value, right? In this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, just like I mentioned before, we're gonna get sum, right? Which is nine is equal to sum plus the current num, right? Which is negative two, right? Uh, sorry, just two and then times the operator, which will convert it into a negative value so we have a negative two value right so the sum is nine plus negative two which is basically um in this case sorry yeah in this case sorry nine plus negative two, negative two is basically seven right so in this case the sum is seven right so basically you can see that this is basically how we're going to get the sum right for within our current brackets so now we know how we can be able to um solve this problem let's take a look at the code so the code is pretty simple. I basically use DFS to solve it. You can use a stack. Basically, first we convert it into a, a character array, and then we're going to have a index that's starting from the first element, right? Starting from the first, or starting from zero. And then first, in, inside our DFS, right, we're going to traverse, right? We're going to traverse this, this, the, this, the string, and then in this case, we're going to have our sum. In this case, zero. Operator is one, right? Basically, it's positive value, right? So initially, we're basically going to have a positive value. Um, and then what we're going to do is that while we're, while the sum was in the current brackets, right, while we're going to um, basically going through our current brackets, right, so it could be something that was out of bracket, right? Um, for example, like a value like this, like one plus one, in this case, there's, there's no brackets at all, then we just continue, right? So there's four, th there's a couple of things we had to check, right? One is if it's a closing, closing parenthesis, then we just have to break. If it's an open parenthesis, then we just have to increase the index by one, right? And then what we're gonna do is that we're going to um, basically do our DFS. We're gonna have an operator times the DFS. DFS function, remember, just like I mentioned, it will return us what's uh, the total value of what's inside the brackets, right? So we're gonna use that times the operator plus the current sum, just like I mentioned, right? We'll update our current sum. Now, why we move the index by one? Because the current position, right? Like I mentioned, the current position is a bracket, right? If it's an open bracket, then we don't want to visit that again. We want to make sure we index plus plus. We're right? moving on to the next character, which is we're going to start. We're going to start from here, and then we're going to move forward, right? We want to we want to get all the value. We want to get the sum. We want to get the total value for what's inside our bracket, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is that we're going to do our DFS, right? And then let's say we have a let's say we have a negative value, right? So in this case, array index is a negative is a negative symbol. Then we just have to make the operator into a negative value, right? Negative one. And then same thing. If it's a positive value, we just have to make it positive one. And let's say if the current digit, right, the current character is a digit. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna form the number, right? Just like I mentioned, we're gonna use a string builder. Uh, while you know while the index is less than array that length and then character dot digits uh, the, the current so current character is a digit what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically append this character onto the string builder and then let's say somehow that this current character is not a digit what we have to do is we have to go back right go back one by one 
um, because now is basically where where this is the current current index is pointing to a digit right in the array. So now what we have to do is we just have to convert it into a number. So all we have to do then is we basically just going to um, convert a string into an integer times the operator, right? This will basically give us the um, the 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 number, right? The the actual value, and then we're just gonna um, basically update the sum, okay? And then as you can see that for each and every single iteration, we're gonna increase the index by one. And let's say there's a situation where in this case we have a space. If we have a space, then we just have to continue, right? If there's any other characters, then we're just gonna continue, right? But of course, like I, like the question says, the, the string is, is a valid expression, right? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna to continue to do that until we have our index, right? We basically uh, either 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 we have a um, closing parenthesis, then we just have the break, we just have to return the current sum, right? This is basically um, all the values, right? The total sum for current uh, within the current brackets, or if the index is beyond the array that length, right? If there's no brackets at all, right? For example, like one plus one no brackets at all, we basically iterate the and traverse the entire string, then we just have to return the sum, right? So in this case, there could be two, just like I mentioned, there are two situations that will break the loop. One is we can have a closing parenthesis, or the other one is we can uh, go, uh, the, the current index go out of bound, right? And notice that the current index is basically, or the index is actually a global variable, right? So once we're going our DFS, the index is still moving. Right. And then once we come back to our DFS, back to the uh, the parent stack, we want to make sure we are using our operator, right? Either is a negative value, right? I could also have a negative value in front of it, right? Like I could have a negative value in front of it too, right? So if it's a negative value, then we just want to make sure the operator times the result of our DFS, right? And then update our sum, right? So you can see that this is basically how we're going to solve the problem. Time complexity in this case is big over n, um, and then the space complexity in this case is also going to be big over n, right? So you can use a um, like an actual stack data structure, or you can also do a DFS. But either way, the space complexity will be will be big over n.